What's your reaction to being traded here? How everything went down? Um, it was a little bit. At first, I was told I was I was being released from Green Bay, and then so I was a little little down about that. Definitely down about that. And then uh, I had a call uh, maybe an hour and a half later from a nine two zero number, so I figured it was Green Bay again, but it was actually uh, uh, John Dorsey telling me that uh, they were trading for me. So I was. Just, uh, just knowing that I was coming back here with uh, with Camp and Blasco, some f fam uh, some familiar faces, uh, it f felt really good at that point. How anxious is that when you get news like that? Does it kind of rock you a little bit before you know exactly what's going yeah, on? Yeah, because it's just because I've, I've been in that situation before, being uh, being cut, and then the last time I was cut, uh, I was out of football for two and a half years. So, so uh, well, out of outdoor football for two and a half years, and uh, it's just you don't know, you just a, a bunch of unknowns. You don't know what's going on. So, um, but. You know, as soon as I got that call that I would, you know, be playing football, there's another another opportunity. Uh, I was ecstatic about it. How do you get back in when you're out for two and a half years? Um, very, very fortunate, very blessed. Um, I uh, played arena football for a year, then I was working at a hotel, and then my twin brother actually uh, decided that we should try and do our pro day again. And at UCF, I uh, we went out there and, and ran pretty decent, and that's where uh, actually. Uh, uh, Zoe uh, Highsmith saw me and uh, brought me in for a workout in Green Bay. I ended up doing the workout well, and that was history from there. When you're, so when your brother says that, are you like, yeah, that's a great idea? Or were you like, no, man, I'm, I don't know. I'm no, I mean, we still, I still knew I could play, so I still wanted, wanted to, uh, you know, to, to give it another chance. I just didn't know how well the, the pro day thing would actually work because I've seen, I've seen a, a bunch of guys do pro days and not really get any, uh, get any looks from it, but. Uh, it just so happened that I that, that I actually did. You had a great. Were you great that day? Uh, I was very. I was faster than I will ever run again. But uh, um, but it was this. Uh, it was all they allowed us to do was uh, drills and the forty. So I felt felt good that day. Was it pixie dust or how did you get so fast? Um, well, you uh, I worked my butt off. I got got with a guy uh, in Orlando. We were working at a hotel in Orlando, and uh, a guy named Ben uh, Dela Cruz uh, just started doing his workouts and. Just, just ended up working out, you know. Do you think that was your last shot? Like, if you didn't have a really good day that day and catch someone's eye that day, um, I would have continued to play football. So I would have, I would have, I was actually signed to the, to the arena, Tampa, the Tampa team in arena, okay. uh, arena football. So I was still planning on playing. Uh, I just love playing. So, I mean, the play wasn't great, but I, I still wanted to do it. So. What were you doing at the hotel? I was a bellman. Yeah, That's it was. Got yeah, yeah, you know, it was it was a it was a big resort, um, probably 26 buildings. Um, drove golf carts around all day. It was a didn't really like the job at all, but you know, it let me keep training, and it let me get a uh, work overtime if I needed some extra money. So it was a good a good experience, I guess. Okay, when you join this team, it's got all kinds of expectations. Does the mm -hmm. talent jump out though when you see this group? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, just going through the first practice today. Uh, looking at the guys on defense, the guys they have in the O-line room, I think there's a, a bunch of talent. I mean, that's what I see firsthand, and then obviously the names uh, in the skill position groups, uh, you know those guys can really play. Do you come in here looking at right guard and thinking it's unsettled? Is there a real opportunity um, I honestly haven't even thought about it like that. I just come in, I'm just going to come in here and compete and uh, try and help the team win the best I can. If that's playing right away, then, then I'm definitely down for that. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do whatever to, to help the team win. And uh, hopefully that means by me playing. So the fact that the guys here knew you from Green Bay, how mm -hmm. much do you think that factored into them bringing you here now? I think it, it definitely has something to do with it, just because they know how um, how I work, um, how how much I love the game. Uh, they know they got a guy they can count on that's reliable. I played a lot of lot of positions for them in uh, in Green Bay, and they know I can do that. So I think that that probably had a big deal to do with it. And how much champion blast though have an effect on your development? Oh, I never. I never snapped the ball until I got to Green Bay. And uh, I was the backup center my first year. Um, started in preseason games at center. So just, just that, uh, that alone can't be helping me, help me with that uh, after practices in Green Bay. And then just knowing, uh, I think the, the best thing that Camp and Blasco do is uh, they sort of figure out what you're good at and try to, try to make you the best at doing that instead of trying to, make, like, trying to make you a robot and fit you into a certain kind of player. Uh, they try to maximize what you're really good at, and I think that that helped me a lot in my career so far. What about the starting experience you got um, in that first Green Bay, week two, when you're in the line? Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Uh, honestly, when I got to Green Bay, I was just hoping to show enough film that I could be on somebody's practice squad, and then week two, I'm starting on Sunday Night Football. But uh, 
that was an amazing experience. But that was another thing that Kemp, you know, kept, kept me out there, worked on my right tackle sets, um, told me to think about it like I'm back at UCF where I played a little bit of tackle. So he, uh, he definitely got me ready for that as well. So you went from Bellman to Sunday Night Football in a couple months? Six months. What is pretty crazy. Yeah, it is, it's amazing. And I'm obviously, I'm sure you've told the story before, but what does it do for you when, when you're in the NFL now mm -hmm. and you were like out in the civilian world, mm -hmm. world for a while? Like, how does that change your view of being an NFL player? Um, I just know I just can't take it for granted. Uh, it's like a blessing, honestly, just because uh, I know how many, how, how hard some guys work and don't get an opportunity. Like, I had a twin brother who, uh, who came out the same year as me in 2014 and was in his second camp, this camp. It, like, he just got another opportunity this year. And uh, I just know that uh, you can't take anything for granted. Every time you get a chance to be on the field is a blessing. And uh, that's what I treat it as. I'm trying to put out my best foot forward every time I go out there. How do you think knowing Campin and the trans, I mean, the language and everything, mm -hmm. can you just hit the ground running here? Uh, I believe I can. I'm, I'm definitely going to need some, some extra, uh, extra time looking at uh, over the offense and things like that. But uh, even like today, um, just sort of comparing it to things we did in Green Bay, it's able to click a little faster. So I didn't feel totally out of whack out there. I mean, I have a lot, lot of um, long way to go, but I think uh, we can expedite it a little bit. Is it kind of, I mean, I'm sure it's like a roller coaster of emotions. You hear you're going to get cut, but mm -hmm. then, you, then you know that the guys who know you really well mm -hmm. have the confidence in you mm -hmm. to make a trade to get you. It's, it How literally, do you describe that like hour and a half, two lit, hours? <laughs> it's lit, literally just like that. Like I was down, I'm like, man, what's going to happen? My agent's uh, calling me and telling me, don't worry about it. You got good film out there. And then literally, maybe not even, I said an hour earlier, it might've been 45 minutes and I'm getting another call. And it's just, just super excited to be, get a chance to play again, prove myself and uh, just a really good feeling. It's gotta feel good that they, you know, these guys believe in it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think that's a, uh, one of the greatest things like a coach can do for you is just actually, you actually know that he's in your corner and believe in you. I know camp and basketball are like that. Was last year hard? I mean, I think you had a shoulder. Yeah, I got a uh, shoulder. It was, it was a lot going on, but, uh, Last year was pretty tough. I wasn't really uh, healthy any other year, but uh, like these guys know, I try to play through through anything, and um, I, that's what I did. And uh, it was a little tough, but towards the end of the year, I started getting the groove back, started getting better feeling in it. So it was uh, it was better towards the end of the year. What's your just initial impression of like the talent on this Browns offense? Um, it's a uh, it's it's amazing, honestly. Just uh, just seeing the speed outside. The, I mean, just working, seeing the guys in the, on the first O line right now, the technicians, they, uh, they get after it. Um, just knowing that there's, no, there's not much drop off anywhere, it seems like. So um, it's actually pretty, pretty cool to see. You said Camp and Glasgow do a good job of kind of taking advantage of your strengths. Mm -hmm. What do they see that's strong in you? Um, I would say, first of all, just position versatility, but uh, just traits in general. Uh, in a phone booth, I'd like to say I'm pretty quick, uh, but um, quick, powerful, uh, explosive off the line. Um, I feel like I'm bragging too much now, but uh, <laughs> but um, just a lot. I, and they know every snap I'm gonna give it 100. percent I mean that's the, that's the main thing. Uh, whenever I'm on the field, it's just the most that I can get out of my body is, is what what you're gonna get. So I think they know that uh, wholeheartedly. I don't know. It depends on the day, I guess. But uh, I played a lot more guard in college. Um, I probably say it's about half and half in the, in the NFL. So I feel pretty comfortable at both. What, what was the resort you worked at? Oh, uh, Westgate Resorts. And where in Florida? It was in uh, Orlando, Florida, close by Kissimmee. The the owner of our um, arena team owned the resort, so he sort of gave us a job at the end of the uh, arena football season. So there are teammates working. Too? Yeah, it was uh, my brother. The other lineman, there's only three linemen in the arena. The other lineman and uh, some DBs worked there as well. Where did he end up? Uh, Jordan camp? was in, uh, I said Cleveland, uh, Chicago this, this past camp. Okay. And um, he was cut yesterday. We'll hopefully hear something pretty soon. What's well, the day before yesterday. What do you think of the wild ride you've been on the last 24 hours? Or Man, he's, he was just super happy. I mean, even when I called him, he had just uh, cut day. We both text each other. Try not to call people on text day. I mean, cut day. <laughs> right. But uh, text each other in the morning, ask him if you're good. and. We are both good for a while, and then literally, I feel like we probably got the call at the same time. But uh, as soon as I told him I was getting traded, I could hear it in his voice. He was happy for me. He was uh, super excited. He's, he's, uh, he's been my biggest supporter since I've been doing all this, and uh, just hopefully he gets another chance, you know?
What's that like to have someone in your family who can understand exactly what you're going through in your life and you can understand exactly what he's going through? It's, it's actually pretty good because I, um, I really can't say I would be here if I, if I wasn't even thinking about doing the pro day. So I, I don't think I would even be in this situation if he wasn't like, hey, we should do, do the pro day. And it was in August, so we obviously had five, six, seven months to, to train for a pro day in March. Okay. So uh, it's just really good knowing that, uh, you know, when we were out of the league, just um, days that I was feeling like, man, this isn't going to work. He was feeling upbeat about it. And days he was feeling like we should give it up. I was feeling pretty good about it. So we was able to push and pull on each other and ended up uh, working out. Did you guys like play football your whole lives coming up? Or? No, I actually played soccer uh, from four to 15. We had weight limits in, uh, in Bi down in Miami. And my dad didn't think it would be good if we were six playing with 13 year olds. We were, we were pretty fat. So uh, played soccer, did wrestling, and uh, did track my final two years of high school. Were you good at soccer? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I played all those years and I scored one goal. So it was just for us running around, honestly.